Okay, so we know that the crane is going to tip over. Now let's run the numbers. Yep, sounds good. So uh, the crane body still weighs six pounds. And it's still 14 inches away. Times those two together, 84 inch pounds of torque. Same thing as before. But the boom is now at 30 degrees. Yep, and by making it 30 degrees, that makes the center of gravity of both the boom and the load further away. The weights don't change, but the distance does, which increases the torque. Okay, now we'll, there'll be another link to another video to explain how we got these new numbers. 29.4 inches and 14.7 inches. Okay. Explained so, elsewhere. Okay, so the boom, distance for the boom, the, the, the torque for the boom, for the load, it's the same, two and a half pounds, but the distance is, is 29.4 inches. Correct. And same thing, the boom is also further away, 14.7 inches. So by multiplying these out, we get the torque for the load is 73.5 inch-pounds of torque. The torque for the boom is 44.1 inch-pounds of torque. Add these two together, we get 117.6 inch-pounds of torque, which is greater than our 84 inch-pounds of torque on the crane body, so it tips over. So the difference is, uh, what do we say, 33, 33. 33 inch-pounds. Yep, the difference between our torque on the, the other side versus the crane body. So if we could add 33 inch pounds, not 33 pounds, 33 inch pounds. Yep. If we could add that to the uh, crane body side. We'd be in balance. We'd, okay, so 33 uh, inch pounds, and where would, we, where would we add this counterweight? Well, we'd want to add it as far back as we can to increase the distance, because if I add a weight right on the pivot point, that's not going to do much. Right. But if we add it further away, that's much more torque for the same force. Okay, so uh, get, drop the, uh, the poster down. So if we have something that weighs about a pound, which is that hook there. Right here, just about a pound. And if we put it on the, all the way on the end, which is 30 inches away. One times 30. So we got 30 inch pounds. So let's, let's see, this should be just about in balance. Look at that. And the back end is Pretty easy to tip over. Okay. They're very close. So in the crane industry, is it a smart idea to have the torque on the crane body side equal to the torque on the load side? Not exactly. If it's a windy day, or maybe some of the measurements are a bit crude, then you could easily, or let's say the counterweight isn't placed as far back. Right. It'll tip over. So we need a safety factor. Yep. And the crane industry, it's 1.5. Yep. So, which means, let's say there's, let's say on the, the, the load in the boom weighs or, or has a torque of 100 uh, inch pounds. Mm -hmm. if, that's, if that side of the equation is 100 inch pounds, the other side should be 150. Correct. So a factor of 1.5. Okay, so let's bring up the poster now. So if we want to introduce a safety factor of 1.5, that would mean we'd take our 117 and multiply that by 1.5, which is about 176 inch-pounds of torque. So we'll have to match that on the crane body side. Uh, 176 minus 84 inch-pounds of torque is 92 inch-pounds of torque that we need. So we need 92 inch-pounds of torque. And where are we going to put it? Once again, we're going to put that weight as far back as we can. Maximize the distance. Correct. And this is still 30 inches back, and we need 92 inch-pounds of torque, so we only need about 3 pounds. 92 divided by 30 is exactly. about 3. So let's find something that's... About 3 pounds. Oh, a nut. The, the big nut. No, no, no. The, uh, might be over here. Oh, yeah. Um, no. Uh, here, there's another hook someplace. I'll take the brick. There we go. These bricks will have to work. Brick is 4.7 pa pounds. So we have even better safety factor. Okay. Yep. So let's put on our load. And you can see that it's very sturdy. Even a, a windy day or adding a little bit more, we'll be fine. Right. More safety is better. Correct. Okay. Now let's go to the tower crane. Sounds good.